YouTube, what's going on? It's Night of Five Records, aka The Don, and today I got a little something special for you guys. Gonna be doing my first ever tier list. Never done one of these before on the channel, so let me know down in the comments if you do like it and what other categories I should do. But today we're starting off with fast food restaurants. Thank you guys so much for the support. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that like button and get right down in the comments. Let's get right into the video. All right, boys, and here we go. Gonna make this quick, easy, light, so you guys can get in and out of this video as fast as possible and, you know, enjoy a nice little tier list. So let's get right into it. Arby's, never been. Checkers, never been. Jack in the Box, never been. Sonic, never been. Whatever, never been. White Castle, never been. Papa John's, never been. Pan Express, never been. Little Caesars, never been. Zaxby's, never been. Taco Bell, never been. Bob Evans, never been. Tim Hortons, never been. On the Board, never been. Baskin Robbins, never been. Carabas, never been. Cheesecake Factory, never been. <laughs> Longhorn, never been. Red Lobster, never been. And yeah, that's a <laughs> that has just been the never been section, boys. So let's. They could be saying, Yo, why didn't you just do the restaurants that you've been to? You know, I I think it's funny. And it's also to see like. One, regional, where I am. I'm in Northeast, so I obviously don't have access to a lot of these. And then two, just, you know, how picky of an eater I am, you know? Yeah, you get to know me. So let's get going here. Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's is S tier. Well, actually, let me start off. There's no Jimmy John's around me. So when I went on vacation down to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I had Jimmy John's every single day, and I appreciate every single meal. Jimmy John's is S tier, all right? And you can't tell me otherwise. IHOP. Now, IHOP is is nice. I love dining there. IHOP is clean. It's nice. It's friendly. But I feel like I can just make pancakes and waffles at home. And you know what? Cheaper and sometimes even better. So I'm going to have to give it a B tier. You know, the dining experience is great, but the food is like, you know, I can do it better at home. Louisiana chicken of pop eyes. We're going S tier. Simple as that. Good chicken, good fries. Biscuits are, are dry, but yeah, if you got that drink, you're all set. Burger King. Now, if you asked me about two, three years ago, I would have said S tier. But, you know, it's it's just, I've grown as a person. I have learned. It is not. I would have to say C tier. I really do. Wendy's. Now, that's infamous right now, boys. So don't, don't be getting no funny business, all right? The four for four is amazing, all right? And just alone, I have to put it B tier. All right, simple as that. Subway. When Jimmy John's exists, Subway doesn't, all right? But I will have to put up Subway. At least in my area, Subway is actually respectable, all right? I have to say, I have to say B tier. Five guys, best burger. Best burger, S tier, all right? You got your sandwiches already, you got chicken, and you got burger, all in S tier. Auntie Anne's, you know, I've been there because of pretzels. It, it's great, a little pricey, so we're gonna have to be the first A tier, you know what I'm saying? All right, Chipotle, Chipotle. All right, we're gonna put it up at S tier, man. Because Moe's and Chipotle are hand in hand. I, I like just going to Moe's because it's cheaper. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a man of money, so I like saving it. So I usually always put Moe's S, Chipotle A, just because of price. Denny's, uh, discount IHOP. And you know, my last time I went there, not the best service. That's, that, that is the epitome of, yo, g you, you have some drunk friends trying to eat. You, you go there and you know i'm not that type of guy so it's just gonna sit there kfc can't compete with popeyes i hate to break it with you and last time i had it not that great so it's gonna go d tier as well buffalo wild wings i think is respectable respectable all right so i'm gonna have to go you know it's a little pricey but you know it is it is decent i'll have to put it at a tier chick-fil-a i'm gonna catch some flack for it but i like it better than po i like popeyes more than Oh, Chick-fil-A. I hate to break it to you, boys. And and I don't think it's A-tier quality. I, I hate to say it. I, I hate to say it. My bad. Panera Bread. I have been there for one reason and one reason only. Their mac and cheese. Their mac and cheese is moi. So for that, I'm going to have to say, hey, it's just, it's so good. I haven't had anything else. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a simple man. Give me my mac and cheese and I'm good. McDonald's, the amount of $1 burgers I've gotten there should alone put it at S tier. But oh man, that would be me every single day after high school. There was a McDonald's right outside my high school. I'd get the dollar drink, the dollar burger. It was me living, all right? That was simple. Oh man, but I would have to say, the I'm looking at where I'm seeing everything else and I'm like deciding where it would be. 
It has to be higher than a C because I would definitely go to McDonald's before Burger King. I'm going to put it B because it's like 50-50 with Wendy's or McDonald's. I'm going to have to put it there. DQ, it's ice cream. is just phenomenal. It's ice cream. is just so good. I love it. The food, decent. So it, it middle of the road, middle of the road. Starbucks coffee. I mean, yeah, I've gone to Starbucks, uh, of course, you know. But like way too expensive, right? We can all agree on that. And, you know, not really the type you, you get there to so get some grub. You know, you get, you get your coffee and you're out. All right. So for the price, I'm going to have to say B tier because I'm going to put Dunkin above it. I hate to say it. We'll do that right now. We'll put Dunkin A tier. I've, I love Dunkin. Cheap. And every time I go, it's good. I understand there's a lot of complaints about Dunkin Donuts in your area being awful. But for me, I've never really had a bad experience. I think maybe once where they messed up my order. I went back in and those guys were like, oh. Free one on us. We got you and we'll throw in a donut. Oh, the the, the service was amazing. I, I you love to see it. So, you know, a tier friendlies. A lot of the friendlies in my area are going bye bye. And I hate to see it because it's it's like an IHOP. They have like a very similar dining situation, but service is a little iffy, you know, but the food is decent. I'm going to have to go. Oh, we're throwing in a B tier, you know, Johnny Rockets slept on. I wish there was one closer to me. I'm going to have to put Johnny Rockets 8 tier. I love the aesthetic, you know, the aesthetic, you know, that vibe, the energy, how the Gen Z's are calling, it, you know, it's dope. It's dope. Red Robin quality, 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 quality. Does it get to S tier? I'm going to say it does. I'm really going to say it does get to S tier. It really does. Because, you know, it's 50 50 Red Robin. I, You know, I actually would say. Five Guys beats Red Robin, but the experience at Red Robin is better. So that's what kind of kind of balances it out. Cracker Barrel. I think I really I hate to say it. Nothing spectacular. Definitely an aesthetic, but <laughs> just not my not my cup of tea. Let's go over here. Dave and Buster's. Dave and Buster's was a lot of fun and their food was pretty decent. Yeah, I have to give it a B tier. B tier. Krispy Kreme. Now, I've gone, haven't had nearly as much as Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks, but from the from the times I have, it is it is quality. So it's gonna go B tier, but it's not gonna get any higher than that. I hate to break it to you. Firehouse Sub! <laughs> Firehouse Sub. If Jersey Mike's is Jersey Mike's on this thing? Hold on. Did I did I accidentally move Jersey Mike's? No. Okay. But Firehouse Subs, F tier. Hated it. It that was prepared terribly when I went. I went there twice, both times. They messed up my my thing. It's it's been downhill ever since. Same with Jersey Mike's. When Jimmy John's exists, why why would you go elsewhere? All right, and Hooters. Been there once on the on the vacation to Florida. And you know what? I hate to break it to you. That is that is heaven for Discord mods and Reddit admins. All right, but it's not for the average Joe because it's not good food. We know. All right, we can all. I don't have to explain. We know. All right. D tier, one time and one time's it. Simple as that. Outback Steakhouse, though. Outback Steakhouse. It's been a minute, but it was it was good. I'm gonna have to put it B tier. It probably could get A tier if I went there again. Ruby Tuesdays. And I'm gonna have to put it same place with the Applebee's and Chili's. It's just kind of there. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of there. Texas Roadhouse. It's gonna go right there with Outback. You know, kind of the same, kind of same vibe. You know. And that'll be it, boys. That is my tier list right there. Thank you guys. You know, oh, hold on. With the power of technology, we got something cool. Hold on. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. Let me know how accurate my list is and uh, share yours down in the comments. Make sure you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get right down in the comments, boys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.